Parshas Korach. This is a Shmuz adapted from the Shmuz of Hagoin, Reb Chaim Shmulevich Seichet Sadak Lebrocha. It says in, in Mesech the Brochus, Gemara Brochus, Daf Chav Zayin Omid Beis, 27b. It says there was Rabban Gamliel, the Nosi, the prince of Kal Yisrael, um, caused anguish to the honor of another Tana, Rabbi Yeshua. And um, because this was the fourth time already that Rabbi Gamliel caused anguish to Rabbi Yeshua, the, all the Talmudim decided that we must depose of Rabbi Gamliel from being the Nasi and appoint somebody else in his place. The Gemara says they were selecting who would who would be appropriate to fill the shoes of Raman Gamliel as being a Nasi, as being the prince. And they did not appoint Rabbi Yeshua, the one who Rabbi Gamliel caused anguish to, even though he was, of course, Roy, he was fit to be the Nasi. But the Gemara says they didn't appoint Rabbi Yeshua because it would have caused, caused too much anguish to Rabbi Gamliel if the person that he, that he caused anguish to is now going to be the Nasi, the prince, in his stead. It would cause too much anguish to Rabbi Gamliel and they appointed somebody else, they appointed Rabbi Eleza, Eleza ben Azariah. The Mi'iri, one of the major commentaries on the Gemara, says that we find the same situation in the Machloikas of Kairach, in the, in the dispute that Korach had against Moshe Naren. And it says in the Torah that after the fire came and burnt all the 250 people, they were great people, but they, something went wrong somewhere. And the Gemara says that the fire pans that they prepared, as Moshe Rabbeinu told them, each one of you take a fire pan with katores, and whoever Hashem will choose, Hashem will choose one person, and whoever will be Hashem will choose will be the uh, Koyin. And of course, we all know the story, they all perished in the flame, none of them were chosen. But the fire pans remained holy. As it says in the Torah, Ki Kodeshu, the fire pans were still holy, were holy. And they had to use the pans to put around the Mizbeach, around the altar, because it was holy. Whoever wants to know more about this, of course, we want to bring out a certain point, but whoever wants to know more about this incredible story uh, should see the commentaries. But we want to bring out one point. The question is, it says in the Torah, Emer el Elozer ben Aaron, tell Elozer, the son of Aaron, the Yorim es hamachtois, to be able to, to lift up the fire pans um, and, and put them on the Mizbeach. But Aaron himself was not chosen to do that. And the Me'iri is saying that just like in the Machloikas and the dispute 
that the people, people had against Rabbi Gamliel, they wouldn't appoint Rabbi Yeshua, who was, of course, fit to be the Nasi. They would not invite him to be the Nasi of Klal Yisrael because it would cause too much Chalisha Sadas. It would cause too many not good feelings to have Rabbi Yeshua, the Baal Maisa, the person who Rabbi Gamliel was, was um, caused the distress to. Uh, he was not chosen. Uh, Rabbi Yeshua was not chosen. Rabbi Loza ben Azari was chosen. And similarly, the um, Meiri says, also, if Aaron himself would have picked up, even though the, all the people were dead already, they were burnt, um, all those that contested his leadership, his being the Kohen, but um, if Aaron himself would have been commanded, Aaron was not commanded to pick up those uh, fire pans, but his son was. Elizabeth and Aaron, and the Miri says it's the same, the same reasoning as by Rabban Gamliel. Just like if Rabbi Yeshua would be the Nosi of Klai Yisrael, it would cause Halishas Hadas, of course, it would cause hard feelings to Rabban Gamliel. So too, it would be putting down if Aaron would would be commanded to pick up those those fire pans. It would have been stepping on on the 250 people who sided with Moshe, who sided with with Korach, uh, and that would been that would have been putting him down too much. So therefore, Hashem commanded it should be done through Eloza and not through Aaron. And the question is, what is the comparison between Rabbi Gamliel? The holy Rabbi Gamliel, who for some reason caused the stress to to Rabbi Gamliel, to, uh, Rabbi, to Rabbi Yeshua, what is the comparison between that and the 250 people that that the Torah, the Torah itself calls them chatoim um, ben sinners with their souls? For, for making a machlokes and contesting the kahuna, the priesthood of Aaron Akoyin. And also it says in the Torah, the Torah calls them atov choladoscha hanoyodim, those, those 250 people were, were congregated al Hashem, against Hashem. Hashem wanted Aaron to be the Kohen. So these are sinners. They started out well, but they wound up being sinners. And the fire came from heaven and took their lives. Are we so worried about their honor? Are we so worried? We can't, the Torah could not ask Aaron to pick up these pans, these fire pans, the holy fire pans, because even though the 250 people were already dead, they were burned, but still it would be stepping on their honor. What kind, what kind of comparison is it to Rabbi Gamliel? Rabbi Gamliel was the prince of Israel, he was a kodosh, he was holy, and whatever went on there is, you know, has to be, has to be uh, studied, but he was a holy person, very holy person. And here, we have to treat him with with respect. We can't we can't appoint Yehoshua, the one he was causing the stress to. We can't appoint him to be the leader of Klal Yisrael, because that would cause anguish to the holy Rabbi Gamliel. But the two hundred and fifty people that Chazal that the Torah the Torah calls them sinners, and that they were fighting against Hashem. And a fire came from heaven to consume them. Why are we worried about their kavod? Who cares if they their sinners anyway? Why sh why shouldn't the Torah command Aaron to pick up those fire pans so it'll so it'll be stepping over 
It'll, it'll be stepping on the toes of the 250 50 people. So what? They deserve it. That's the question. Hagoyin Reb Chaim Shmulevich Zechet Tzadik Levrocha tells us a little bit that we have to know what it means, what it means to put somebody down, what it means to give honor to, to, to the creations of Hashem. It's not only that we have to fear for the honor of the great Rabbi Gamliel, the Prince of Israel, the Holy Rabbi Gamliel, it's not only we have to worry about his honor, and we can't appoint Rabbi Yeshua to be the Nasi, the Prince in his stead, but even people that the Torah itself calls chatoim, sinners, contesting our own, fighting against Hashem, their honor is not hefker. It's not just up for grabs. You can't just step on people. Even if the Torah meets out, gives out punishment to them, tremendous punishment, the fire came from heaven to consume them, but that's it. We can't just heap more and more and more and more punishment upon them. The, the Torah places upon them the punishment they, they deserve, and that's it. We have no right. They're human beings. They're human beings, and human beings cannot be stepped on. And this is our lesson. It's not only a holy person we can't step on his toes. We can't put him down. But even, even chatoim ben avshaysam, even sinners, even sinners fighting against Hashem, the Torah tells us punishment for them. They will be burnt, and they were burnt, and they were killed. But that's it. We're not allowed to put one iota more upon them than the Torah dishes out, because they're human beings. And a human being, we have to be very careful with his honor. Shem should help us understand the meaning of Beinor Mochaveirai, that we have to give respect to each one. We can't put anybody down in any manner, form, or shape. And that's what the Torah demands of us. And we should be zeche to fulfill this. Amen v'yamin.